I love the UK, I love London. I was actually here a couple of months ago, so I always love coming back. I'm a definite Anglophile, that's for sure. It's a view of this story that we've never seen before. Usually it's told probably from the perspective of Jesus, but the success of The Chosen is called The Chosen because it's from the perspective of those that knew Jesus the best. So I just think it's a new perspective on a story that is as old as time. There's a lot of things confronting Jesus, and at the same time, I think a lot of questions are confronting the disciples. So at the same time that Jesus is wrestling with his destiny, the disciples are kind of, they want answers as well. So I always like use the rocks kind of thing of know your role. I think a lot of the disciples need to know their role, but you know, they're kind of struggling to come to grips with that as things and tensions are kind of rising. What I enjoy the most is the family. I think not only the cast and the crew, but our fans are part of our family. They've been there with us since second one. And you know the story of how the show came about. We literally could not do this without the fans. My favorite thing has been the family aspect. Most challenging, the conditions are a little hard. So uh, it's definitely, it's a hot series to, uh, you know, it's very, very dry. And But what gets us through is the support from the fans and having that family vibe. So this is the number one crowdfunded series or media project of all time. So when kind of there weren't traditional ways to fund the series, fans came in and they funded the series uh, where no one else would. And it put us not only on television screens, but as you can see on the big screen. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!